Understanding proxemics. So proxemics is the study of position and people in relation to each other. And in law enforcement and in the military, people study this as a way of assessing threats a lot of the time. Uh, we're going to use it in a very, very, very simple way today. And that's to try and assess how close is too close. Right? We all have this innate sense of a, like a personal bubble that's around us. And this can vary a little bit culturally. Um, people from uh, South America, Central America, very kind of close cultures will often kind of hug and be very close. And people in North America will be a little bit more distant and their um, personal bubble can be a lot wider. Um, but when there's genuine threats of intent, people tend to exhibit tension and tension itself makes you want to expand your personal bubble. And I'll show you what we mean by that as we do this drill. So we're going to borrow Gabe and feeds. He's going to pick a distance which feels completely safe to her. He's so far away from her that he couldn't reach her even if he had something in his hand to swat her with or something, right? Um, he's all the way over here. And then he's going to approach her slowly. And when Feeds feels something, anything at all, it might be an impulse to kind of turn away, move back, to lift her hands up, even a slight kind of shrinking impulse. It depends on her tendencies. She should just raise her hand and be like, yep, close enough, right? So he approaches. Close enough, right? So that was the distance, very good. He does it again. Good, we'll do it one more time. Feeds as a scientist, we have to have replication in the experiment. Good, nice, all the way back. Okay, now this time I'm gonna ask Gabe to add some tension. And he's not gonna do it in an obvious way, right? If I approach her like a maniac, like this, this is the bubble, right? She'll start to um, notice it from a mile away. I just want him to pick a part of the body, maybe just like a shoulder blade or one side of his neck or his back and just hold it very, very stiff as he walks towards her. And then she, again, whenever she feels something a little bit off, gets a sense that he's too close, she should raise her hand. Yeah, good, okay. Start from a little bit further away because you haven't got much run up time. Okay, and go. Yeah, good, okay, nice. Yeah, so when we exhibit tension, and typically if somebody wants to attack you, it's difficult for them to do it in a very relaxed way, right? Um, they'll typically freeze the thing to, that they're going to hit you with. They'll kind of keep it steady so that they're ready to launch, right? And this can be a nice kind of telltale, a bit like spotting tells in a poker game or something, if you're looking for somebody who's uh, going to attack, right? Um, the third way that we can study this, which is very, very interesting, is trying to creep closer to her by being relaxed, right? If I want to work against feeds, right, if I want and use proxemics in an offensive way instead of a defensive one, I don't want to go like this because it freaks her out already, right? If I approach her like a fighter, she knows that I want to fight. Uh, nor do I want to kind of make eye contact with her and stare at her like a psycho, and then she'll move away from me this way. Instead, as much as possible, I want to keep my back straight, my breathing even, my manner completely easy, uh -huh. and then I can get very close before she even thinks about moving away. And if you're extraordinarily sneaky, you can even look at another part of the uh, room, and then you can put her down before she realizes what's going on. Right? So you can use this in both an offensive and a defensive capacity. So the last show we're going to do now, which is quite tricky and quite unfair to feeds, so I think it's going to be fun, um, is that Gabe is going to approach, and he's either going to uh, lift a hand and push her in the face, not punch her in the face, but just give her a push, or he's going to decide that he wants to shake her hand. The key thing is, that he has to decide right now, before he starts walking, whether or not he wants to punch her in the face or whether he wants to shake her hand. If she feels like he wants a handshake, she should respond by putting her hand out, right? If she feels like he's gonna punch her in the face, she should step aside or do something to forestall that, right, that way. Make sense? You know what you've gotta do? You know what you've gotta do? Decide before you move and stick to your decision, right? Ready, and go. Good, okay, back again. <laughs> Not bad. That's 50% success rate. And again, <laughs> good. Okay. Yeah. So it's difficult to show, especially with only three repetitions, but the more you do this, uh, the better you get at it. And one key aspect is that if you're tense yourself, so sorry, Feeds, I'll take your place here. So if I'm looking for it and I'm very, very tense, it's very hard to tell, right? Everything feels threatening. He mirrors my tension. And whether or not he's being nice or not, I just feel like maybe it's threatening. So I have to relax myself in order to become kind of like a barometer of tension. And only then will I start to feel whether or not he actually means an attack, right? Even then, it's not gonna be 100%. So you have to keep doing the drill to kind of increase your sense of it. But give this a try, see how it works.